Greetings my esteemed subscribers, today I thought to refute some more lies, this time from Rational Vicky. So let us begin. The Golden One is an alt-right nationalist. False, I have never claimed to be alt-right. Secondly, traditionalist, which by their definition is not what I mean when I talk about traditionalism. What I mean when I talk about traditionalism is perennialism. So, to give an example, if you have various cultures in various places over various time periods and they have all come up with the same conclusions. So, for example, that a man takes responsibility is good no matter if you are an Anglo-Saxon during the 9th century or you are an African tribesman 2000 years ago, or you are a Swedish man today. That is what I mean with traditionalism. Third, YouTube vlogger. I rarely do video logs, but yeah, I've made a few, so technically it isn't completely false. And an online fitness coach. Yes, I also own two companies, you could have mentioned that. He is also an Odinist, because of course he hmm, is. Now, first and foremost, some advice here for the author of the article. It's really not lending anything to your credibility to use a curse word in a text. You can use curse words every once in a while in speech if you want to reinforce your point, but writing it down like this is, uh, yeah, it's not a good look. And also, yes, I am a pagan. I try to be a pagan. I try to reconnect with my spirituality because I don't find atheism to be satisfying enough in this world of uh, ungodliness so to speak and I say that because I want something more and if I can explore something in regards to the spiritual realm yes of course I want to do that and yeah it's quite obvious that going along the path of Norse mythology Norse religion is the natural choice for me as a Norseman. I don't know what else I could have chosen. Christianity isn't all too welcoming these days and it isn't particularly in tune with my beliefs. So therefore, yes, I am a pagan. Nothing wrong with that at all. What does he do and why should anyone care? Despite his unusual, despite his insane, okay, I challenge anyone to give an example on which one of my political views, which one of my proposed policies is insane. Comment in the comment section below because I'm very curious to hear which, um, which one of them is uh, insane. Anyway, going on, or maybe because of them, the Golden Ones YouTube channel boasts over 88,000 subscribers. Yes, we're um, above that now, happily enough. Some of his subscribers may even be in positions of power. Yes, they are, and uh, that's a good thing indeed. Keep on reading and let that sink in. The Golden One has shown open support for Rodrigo Duterte, president of the Philippines. Specifically, he supports Duterte's decision to encourage the murder of suspected drug dealers. And then the article goes on. Yes, I do support Rodrigo Duterte. I think he is a hero. I think he is a role model. Definitely something that more leaders should look up to. He gives everything he has for his people to make his country a better place. That is a textbook definition of, an, of a good leader. Um, of course, yes, I am very sorry for the innocents that are dying. But here's the thing. More innocents will die if the current drug regimes are continuing to exist. So if we're talking about the total amount of innocent victims, yes, I'm sure Duterte is on the side of less innocent victims. So yes, my support for Rodrigo Duterte still stands strong. Encouragement of kidnapping. Now, this title is uh, highly misleading and here is where the article loses all of its credibility. Uh, these types of low blows, these types of overt misrepresentations, it's just, um, I don't know what to say. That is obviously not what I mean. That is obviously not what anyone with a, with a three-digit IQ will understand from any of my videos. We can continue reading. The Golden One encourages young men to forcefully prevent their female loved ones from leaving home at night. 
his rationale is that he's keeping them safe from Middle Eastern immigrants who want to rape them. And it goes on. Yes, I'm very proud of making that video, one of the best videos I've made. Uh, no regrets whatsoever. I might have prevented tens of rapes just by saying these words. Things aren't the way they used to be. This was after the police in Sweden had encouraged females in Östersund, a town in Sweden, to not go out at night. I reinforced their message by saying, you know what, this is not something you can participate in anymore because you might end up in trouble. Um, I was correct. I am still correct. You're trying to protect your loved ones. This is what uh, that's about. It's not kidnapping anyone. So yeah, I have absolutely no regrets. I'm very proud of myself. One of the best videos I've ever made and uh, my advice there still stands strong. Uh, if you have a female relative which you love who does not want to listen to reason, yes, you can physically hinder her from putting herself in danger. That is the reasonable course of action if you love her. In 2015, a 12 year old boy was recorded on a video twerking at a gay pride parade. The golden one criticizes the gay community for not speaking up about this. I am indeed. Um, believe it or not, I have actually been to a pride parade and uh, believe you me, I was not prepared for what I saw there. But uh, it was a good thing that I went because that opened my eyes to certain things. And the reason for me being there was that I was sponsored by a underwear company and I had to dance with some girls. So there was nothing gay about that at all. But uh, yeah, it's not something I would recommend anyone else to do. Obviously a degenerate aspect of the modern world. But for me it was a good thing that I went so I could open my eyes to that. And yes, the statements I've made since is reinforced by that. And yes, I do say the same thing today. I say to all gay people that you need to be the first ones who speak up against this uh, pedophile uh, things going on. So if you see a 12 year old boy twerking at a parade, you need to be the first one to call that out. Um, simple as that. Anti-pornographic views. The golden one believes that porn causes men to become pacified sheep. Unsurprisingly, he does not offer any evidence for this claim except anecdotal evidence. Nor does he explain how porn supposedly turns men into pacified sheep. Uh, I have actually linked quite a few studies over the years, so this is a lie actually. I can link some more resources below if you want to have a look at those. Um, simply put, it reduces the willpower in your brain on a biological level. So there you go. Uh, yet again, I will link some resources below. And my other arguments for not watching porn. I try to live my life as follows. I pretend that either my ancestors or my gods or whomever is watching me all the time. Which then means that I can't do certain ignoble behaviors such as fapping to porn. And I suggest to all of my valiant disciples to adapt this mindset. So just pretend that you have someone watching you all the time so that you make good decisions and so that you do not dishonor yourselves. So that was my um, refutation of um, some of the points in this video. And for everyone who's new to the channel, uh, feel free to just look around in my videos and on my homepage, thegoldenone.se, and on my Instagram, The Glorious Lion. I have all of my views in public. I try to reach as many people as possible with my views, so uh, just have a look, spend some time, and make up your own mind about my positions. And yet again, if you have any example of any of my proposed policies that are insane, please let me know in the comment section below. Otherwise, if you're new to the channel, I would definitely encourage you to subscribe, and I promise I will not disappoint. And who am I? I'm the Elf of Wisdom, XXO. Boom! In your opinion, what is the most powerful insight presented by the Iliad? Strength and beauty. The Iliad is not just a poem about the Trojan War. It is about fate, as it was understood by our warrior ancestors, whether they were Greek, Celtic, Germanic, Slavic or Latin. 
The poet sings about nobility in the face of war. Brave heroes kill and die.